Hello and welcome. We would like to introduce you to Miss Moore. We are going to be interviewing her today. Are you ready? Please let them know your full name in sign language as well. My name is L O U I S E M O O R E. And what's his sign name? His sign name, Mrs. Moore. Where were you born? Where are you originally from? I was born in Jamaica. Jamaica. Okay, good. Now, where do you live? Now, I'm retired and I'm back in Jamaica. Okay, wow. How did you learn sign language in the past? Well, first, when I went to the school for the deaf in Jamaica, they were oral. They were oral. Okay. Then it was very, very hard for the deaf. So they introduced sign language, American sign language. Um, oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Teachers from Kingston came down and taught the teachers sign language. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. So how many years have you been a teacher at the school in Jamaica? But at first, I was a teacher for hearing children. Okay. Then later, I went to the St. Christopher School for the Deaf. Yes. You were saying some more? Oh, the school is for the deaf and uh, all the children live there. So it's residential. About, about three day students. Okay, that's fine. And then, okay, so you taught there. Is there anything you remember about the deaf in Jamaica? Maybe some of their names you remember? Oh, I remember some of the children. Oral, Paul, mm -hmm. um, no, I remember the name. Oral and Paul and Jackie, Jackie, J A C K I E. Jackie, Jackie Rochester, R O C H E S T E R, and Jackie Turner, two fast runners. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Also, you remember Robert? Robert Gray. Yes, I remember Robert. Robert, yes. And Colin? Colin, yeah. Okay, no so that's good. Did you enjoy your work there at the school for the deaf in Jamaica? Yes, yes. What did you teach? I taught the, the usual language, maths, social studies, science, and the other 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 sort of especially I enjoyed teaching dance. Oh. And drama. Wow. Uh -huh. So that means you started teaching the deaf children drama and dance there in Jamaica, and then you continued with that when you came to Barbados, correct? Right, right, right. Wow, wonderful. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. We're going to discuss more about her time in Barbados shortly. So when you were at the deaf school in Jamaica, mm -hmm. You then decided you would go to England, and then you came to Barbados. Tell me more about that process. Oh, oh. Ministry of Education interviewed 
many, many teachers on the Commonwealth Teachers Exchange Program. Teachers Exchange Program. There I met with Caribbean teachers and other countries, of course, and okay. many other countries. Mm -hmm. And then you said you studied at the university in Jamaica and England as well, is that correct? Oh, no. In Jamaica, I studied at the University oh. of the West Indies to improve my teaching skills for the deaf. Oh, I see. Wow. And then, why did you decide to come to Barbados, to move to Barbados, oh. to the island? Oh, I... And what year? Oh, I got married ah. in England. Okay. My husband is from Barbados. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's nice. So you came and then you tried to find a job and you were successful, you were playing? Um, at, at first, at first it was very, very difficult to get a job teaching the deaf. Okay. So I searched for other teaching jobs. Um, I applied mm -hmm. to other schools, mm -hmm. but I got the right answer at Chalinor, Chalinor School. Okay, Chalinor School, okay. School. But when I arrived from England, I went back to my own job in Jamaica okay. for one year. Oh. For one year. And then I came back to Barbados. And you continued on living here in Barbados and teaching at the School for the Deaf. Yes. How many years did you teach there at the School for the Deaf in Barbados? From 1987 to 2014. 2014, right. Mm. Wow. Also, I noticed you worked really hard. You've been so supportive of the deaf. You taught dance, drama. You taught them how to play with an instrument, play the, the drum. drum. And sometimes they didn't have clothes. They may have been needy. And you would help them. You were, you were very giving and encouraging. Is yeah. that true? Yes. I tried to help the deaf who had a hard life. Yes, that's the truth. Mm. If you want to say more, you can. That's fine. Um, I used to walk to Bridge Town and bring things for the children. Wow. Who are very poor. Mm -hmm. I understand. That's how it was in the in the past. It was a tough time. Yes. And and I remember your first car was blue, a small blue car. Oh, right? oh, oh. <laughs> Before that, I walked, 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 walked to Bridgetown to catch a bus for Pinelands. Yeah. Ten years. Oh, wow. Two buses. Two buses. One to Bridgetown, then one to Pinelands. Ten years. Then I bought a little car. I remember that blue car, and then it was red, and, and then, then now a brownish blue. one. Yes, wow. that's right. Also, you said you used to get two buses, and you had to walk far in the city, mm. and then you had to wait for one to Pineland. Would you travel with a group of deaf who were waiting for a special bus to go to the deaf school? No. The deaf oh. children had a school bus. Okay. Mm. Understood. Is there anything you remember um, from the time of the first principal or the second principal, some teachers, their names? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sure. 
I remember Mr. Ramsey was with me the first day he okay. started. Ramsey had a son. Yes. Was in my That's class, him. my class, and Miss Graves started. We started together. Mm. Wow. And I'm also the first principal oh. in Wilson. I, I never worked with Irvin Wilson as a teacher, but because I did not get a job at the school for the deaf, I wanted to continue practicing sign language. So Mr. Wilson, Mr. Wilson had a club for the deaf at Early Sun College okay. on Friday evenings. So I went there and borrowed a sign language book. Right. So, um, do you remember Miss Franklin? Oh yes, Miss Franklin. When, when I started teaching, Miss Franklin was the principal there. Okay. Understood. So Irvin Wilson had finished, yes, and then yeah. Miss Franklin was principal. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Here's a picture. So you see. So, um, what did you really enjoy about your time there at the Irvin Wilson School? Maybe the activity you remember or the event thing that happened? So many things happened there. I remember the children, great time. Some children were poor and never had anything to eat, great time. And I got myself in big trouble ah. because I encouraged them to share their break food with the other children. Some teachers thought it was wrong because some parents tried to give their children food. So why not others? Well, some were very, very poor. So I got myself in trouble for that. Mm -hmm. I remember going to camp, summer camp for the deaf children. Oh. All about Barbados. Yes. Yes. For for about six weeks. Okay. Volunteers would come from America and we would teach skills and fun things for the children to keep them Wonderful. busy. Because here in children ha had a camp. Yes. True. But the deaf and other disabled did not have. Yes. So parents had a, had a group where they would meet once per month okay. and discuss problems or ideas to improve the life of deaf and other disabled. Wow. So you see, an interesting story. Yes. So I saw some pictures that surprised me. I did not know that the deaf were involved in crop over in the past, the children. So whose idea was it? Who planned that? Uh -huh. The drama teachers thought it's a good idea, idea to involve the deaf with hearing children. Okay. Some deaf have hearing brothers and sisters, mm. so they join. That is nice. That's wonderful. So, did that happen year after year, or was that a one-time thing? No, many, many, many years. Oh. Many years, yeah. Um, Springer. Springer School had a group of ch of students who liked working or volunteering with the deaf. So they came and helped. Also, 
some teachers from the school for the deaf also came and helped to make the clothes. Bring us school. Yeah. <laughs> so, notice the full picture here. This is in the past when Mrs. Moore was teaching. It's a picture of her with the children in the class. She really exerted herself teaching and encouraging the students and it continued for a long time, for almost 30 years. Wow. Is that correct? That's right. <laughs> you see. So what was your favorite thing? Um, maybe you can say one or two things, what you most oh, enjoyed. I enjoyed teaching drama and dance. True. I noticed that for many years, you've always taught the deaf children drama. You taught them to be brave, mm. many things you did. I've got a lot of pictures there. And Irving Wilson School has a lot of pictures and yes. videos. I would love to show you briefly a slide show of the history. It would be wonderful. Many deaf children have never forgotten Mrs. Moore, and they really enjoyed their time with her when they went to whole town or on Christmas Day. Christmas party. Or when they went to church, Independence Day as well. Different, many different things. Drama playing the drum, doing instruments, she was skilled. Right, that right, right, right. Especially the drama, because many deaf are shy. Okay. Shy, shy. So, so they will do drama and improve their confidence. Confidence. Then later, they will be promoted to sign language class, sing yeah. and sign. I was not happy with that oh. because I worked hard with the children and oh. then they take them out and move them up to sing, sign. Oh, no. oh yes, I remember that. That's true. Many deaf people yeah. really enjoyed yeah. the drama. But then they were moved <laughs> into different places mm -hmm. and they had to do the sign language song. Uh, but Nonetheless, they were determined to keep on and be I successful. Continued. I continued. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, great. Wonderful. Remember, Beautiful story and experience. I remember lunchtime. Lunchtime at the school. Um, before, the children went over to Wilkie Cumberbatch School. For school. And later they moved back. And the school got bigger. School ah. building. Children got bigger, then they came back to the school for lunch time. So you mean that in like two thousand before two thousand and one? Yeah. It was before small. before I arrived at the school. They went to Wilkie Cumberbatch for lunch. Okay. Bring over and then go back. With the, with the tray. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. You're right, they had a tray. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Also, I remember around 1999, all oh, mm -hmm. things were thrown out from the school. Yeah. Why? Because it meant that soon the school would be renovated oh, yes. and expanded. Oh, oh, yes. That is true. And that made us move to Erdison. Yes. Erdison. Erdison. We moved near to Erdison in a small school. I'm going to show you a picture of what that looked like. Yes, so that's it. Near to Erdison College, the deaf gathered there until the renovations Jesus were finished at the Urban Wilson School and they were ready to go back. That's right. And the rooms were nice and new.
Yes, new building. You were the first ones to go there. Right. I remember in 2001, late in 2001, like November, mm -hmm. they had a ceremony for the renaming of the school. It was oh. the school for the deaf and the blind, and then it became the Urban Wilson School. Mm -hmm. And they had some activities. It involved signing, sign songs and drama. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yes, that is true. And you must remember the every Christmas we went to New Testament Church of God. That was very, yes. very important in the life of the deaf children. Why? Many deaf never went to church. Okay. So Christmas was the time that they went and they met other other disabled children. Okay, okay. And showed off their skill. True. So, I remember that. The Anne Hill School, they did some songs, and there was one man who was disabled, he played the keyboard. keyboard uh -huh. And there was a group who would do sign songs as well. And there was a deaf group doing drama. I never forgot that. Oh, yeah. Great. So, in 2014, you retired. Wait, hold on, hold on. Before that, some of the deaf would ask, when well, are you going to retire? Are you going to retire at 60? But you felt, 60? No. I want to add a few more years, maybe five more years. So, until 65, then you retired. Mm -hmm. But before, you were thinking you would miss your time there at the school, true, right? True, true. I really enjoy teaching and working with, with children yeah. because I also work at church, okay. Sunday school. Mm -hmm. Wow. Especially I enjoy sports day. Uh, I remember, I love that. Yes. I remember that. <laughs> Red House. Red House. Red House. Red House, Red House. Red House. Red House. Red House. Red House. More than Blue House? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And you were fashionable, yeah. you had your head tie, your yeah. shirt, your right. jeans back. Right. Mm. right. I remember in class, I did, I did many, many skills. Tai and Dai. Tai Dai. Tai Dai. Uh, no. Yes. We bought the parents bought the cloth and then they would dye it mm -hmm. and then make a garment from it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also that's beautiful, wow. Also open day. Well, oh, it was great. Parents came and looked at the work the children did and okay. praised the teachers for the wonderful work. Yeah. Um, right. The work, the, the workshop. What? No. Workshop, yeah, the workshop. The, the children made things and then um, you buy them or and, and take them home to show the parents. Mm. Mm. And I also remember you told me that they would do art, they mm. were the workshop where they built things, mm -hmm. and they would present it on the table, they'd show it, and they would NIFCA, they showed it at NIFCA, their creation, their artistic creation in the past. NIFCA, they did sign language, sing sign language at NIFCA. Uh, they entered, yes, they entered that, yes. Mm -hmm. I remember the Urban Wilson School won two times mm -hmm. for their sign language Sense, songs. Yes, they got yes. second place? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Great. It's, it's, uh, Franklin, Franklin was very strict. Very strict? Yeah, yeah. Franklin was very strict. Yeah, but if 
I had a project to do, I would go and discuss it with her, and then she, I would stop in town and buy the, the things, and then she would give me back the money. Okay. So I never had That's any nice. problem. So it was important that you met and chatted and came to an agreement and yes. you did what you had to do. Yes. So things would run smoothly. That's yes. good. Yes, that's good, yes. So, yeah. I remember in the past, this when it was a school for the deaf, and that was the name. Mm. And then in 1975, they added school for the deaf and blind. Mm. And then... Thereafter, 2001, yeah. the name changed to the Urban Rosen School. Oh, That's yes. how it has been over the years. Yes, yes, yes. Because Irving Wilson worked hard to get a building, especially for the deaf and the blind. So mm -hmm. they honored him by naming the school after, after him. Right. Mm -hmm. He visited the school often okay. to see the progress. Okay. Mm -hmm. So she's saying that the Ir Irvin Wilson visited the school to f again and again to check up on things. I mean, sure things were going well. That's a good example. Yes, a good example, yes. Irvin Wilson has died already. He died in 2015. Play the picture. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Many deaf and many teachers, those who retired, some deaf children, they flocked to the funeral to show their support for okay. Mr. Irvin Wilson. Yes. You can also check that video on YouTube. Okay. So in 2014, you retired. Okay. And then... What happened thereafter? You stayed for some time in Barbados. You decided oh. to go back to Jamaica. Oh no! I I, I retired twenty twenty fourteen because my husband was ill, and after he died, twenty sixteen. In twenty sixteen. Mm -hmm. After he died, I got a little job teaching oh. at a. Nursery school. Oh, ah, yes. Nurse you got a job at a nursery school. school. Uh -huh. Wow. I taught them sign language. Ah, okay. And they performed sing sign at their graduation. At a graduation. Also, I did nice. drama with them. Wonderful. The drama Good with experience. them. The drama with them. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's... I also remember you taught sign language. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that was wonderful experience. Because many, many, many deaf have to go to offices for yeah. the government. And the people don't know sign language. So the government encouraged workers there to come and learn sign language. Free. That's free. Correct. Free. Yes. I recall Anthony, Lionel Smith, Miss Ford, Miss mm -hmm. Black Blackman were at the sign language class as well. Yes. Yeah, yes. True. And also remember the children must play with students from the nearby school, Willie Cobra School. So the teachers there and some students there came to sign language class. In fact Okay. Yes, yes. The first first set of students came from Wilkie Cobra School to learn sign language. Because the girls love to play with the boys, especially, mm -hmm. especially. Mm -hmm. I remember, I remember, that remember yes, I remember. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Travis Stout was one of the main one. Wingo Bell, and one from Saint Peter, boy from Saint Peter. I remember his name. 
can't remember his name. A young boy? Yes, he, he played cricket. He loved cricket. Oh. It. And then his club learned sign language. Mm -hmm. uh, that is really. I can't remember his name now. It should, it should have continued until now. Mm -hmm. Rocky Cumberbatch and Irving Wilson School wow. together. Wow. And learning wow. from each other, learning wow. different languages. That's wow. really important. There's no need for separation. Wow. Wow. And them not knowing one another. That wow. merge is yeah. really important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some children were afraid of the death. Um. That's true. <laughs> Because they didn't understand why they couldn't talk. They had to sign. Yes. And even tease. Tease? Tease them. I remember the deaf boy named Mohammed. Oh, Mohammed, yeah. Mohammed, Mohammed. He used to frighten them. Oh, <laughs> wow. For fun, of course. Of fun. Mm. Interesting. Oh, I must tell you, when I went to America to study, I improved my sign language skills. I learned to play the piano. Ah. Learned to play the piano. And I taught dancing, African dancing over there. I know that your favorite. You love yes. African dancing yes. and the fashionable clothes. No, that's right, that's right. That's <laughs> right. I um I wanted to continue learning and improving my sign language and become or to help more with the girl. Uh, Right. To be an interpreter, yeah. but my husband wanted me to come back home. So oh. I had to stop. I understand. Mm. It's not easy, but yeah. I understand family. it's important. Family. family comes first. Yes. Mm. So I want to ask you your view of the Urban Wilson School, how it has changed. Well, yeah. Is there anything that you would like what? to see? Mm -hmm. what? Since you have retired, mm -hmm. is what? there anything you any improvement you would like to see mm -hmm. at the Urban Wilson School? Yes. Or uh, to see per who, persons become teachers and uh, what's not? Yes. Oh, I forgot to tell you that. While there, at first, two first students did the 11 uh, okay. exam yes yes exam exam yes um and moved to saint paul's school primary school oh, yes saint paul's primary yes 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 they did well at um at saint paul's saint paul's and then they moved to high school mm. They moved to a secondary school. Ooh, and then school. a teacher was selected to go with them. First was Mr. Kinch. First, Mr. Kinch, Mr. Kinch. And then, then and then Miss Carmel, Carmel, Carmelia. Carmelia. Allen, Allen, Carmelia, Allen, yeah. Went, went there. That was one improvement for the deaf because their problem is communication. Communication. I remember some students, smart, 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 learn good. Lionel Smith is one. And Travis Stout. So, huh? Oh? Michelle Egal, Michelle Egal went overseas, and overseas, yes, yes. And then later, Nikita, Nikita. Nikita Makeup? Oh, no, no, Nikita Makeup. She went to St. George Secondary School. Oh, the first girls, the first two girls went to Garrison. 
Uh, uh, the garrison. The garrison school. Yes, 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 the garrison. Uh, and then uh, afterward, Nikita, she went to St. George's Secondary. Yes. That's right. Yes. Um, I want more children to get the opportunity then because the school had about 100 children when I went there in 1987. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Yeah. It was a big school. Then rubella, yeah. disease, yes. Yeah. Yes, they gave them the injection, injection so the parents didn't have to worry that their child will be born deaf. Okay. Mm -hmm. There was an outbreak. That is why you had so many deaths. But no, 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 no problem. Mm. Numbers have gone down. So the school now is very, very small. And um, blind children are still few. But now the school has changed because many, many, many autistic autistic or aut autistic children are there and the goals are probably different now so about the urban mountain school the future of it what would you love to see for the urban mountain school maybe that person working at the school or anything else oh, oh yes i remember anthony marshall was our head boy and he came back and was a teacher assistant. That is good. I think the deaf are given the opportunity. They can do other jobs. Also, Priscilla. She worked as a janitor. Oh yes, Priscilla worked there as a janitor. Mm -hmm. Or she never went to school there. Well, she never went to school there. Mm -hmm. Right. Some just do fairly good jobs. Sabrina Griffith. Okay. Danielle. And, oh yes, Marsha. Marsha. Marsha Watson. Uh, Marsha Watson. Uh, continues to work as a chef. Okay, as a chef. Okay. Marsha also was a good swimmer. Yeah. Swimmer with hearing children. Yeah. And she went overseas and did very well. But then she hurt her back. That's true. She wanted to go to the Olympics, but she had to stop. That's correct. Mm. That's what Marsha Watson told me. I already interviewed her about her life story. She hurt her back, but she still loved swimming. Yeah. Also, Danielle, she was the first Miss World beauty, model for Barbados. Beauty, 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 beauty contest. In 2010. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I noticed here in Barbados, few deaths have progressed. For example, we have Marsha, she became a swimmer. Danielle, a model, got mm. basketballer. And other deaf persons, they may have won awards for hard work and so on. That's wonderful. That's good. Mm -hmm. I want to see more children. The, those who are children now, I want to see them progress and improve in their sign language. And I would love to see more deaf people working at the school for the deaf. Teaching perhaps craft, photography, filming, helping the deaf to have role models, people they can look up to. That is very important representation. That, that is true, but remember, the numbers are down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, few children, few teachers. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, I want to ask you, you remember in the past, um, uh, uh, the adult deaf, mm -hmm. they would visit the school again and again. Mm -hmm. They would visit the deaf children, they'd meet the teachers and mm. chat with them. Do you remember mm. that? Yeah, I remember that. But some deaf boys had other motives. 
Oh, okay. So that is why that was discouraged. Some of the boys, they had other plans, what yeah. they wanted. Yes. Yeah. That can happen. Yes. I understand. Uh, mm. I remember the death visited the Irving Wilson School, fourth day, Christmas, Independence Day. Yes, yes. They would just show up and they'd visit. They would hang out with them yeah. and help them connect with them, uh, communicate with them. and. And we have visitors from overseas. They came to the school for the death. They attended workshops. They gave speeches. They gave things to them. I remember that. True, true. But that has stopped. I don't know why. Okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Well, uh, yeah, um. Is there no. anything you want to say for the last before you go back to Jamaica? Mm -hmm. Anything you want to say to those? I want, I want the school to continue to help the deaf. Right. Doesn't matter the numbers are small. Deaf children are out there, and they need the help. Well, that is correct. Also, they could continue with sign language class that because the deaf are there and they need the help and the services communication mm. be able, being able to communicate with the children that's that's correct that's important anything mm. else you want to say i want the deaf to, to continue to support each other yes i agree with that make a strong club for the deaf. A strong club for the deaf. Also, more interpreters. Yes. You say there's a need mm. for interpreters. interpreters. Mm. That is true. And I hope, agree with that. And I hope that the future will see, we'll see improvement for the deaf world opportunities to go overseas to study true meet meet other deaf from other countries mm -hmm. and improve improve their life mm -hmm. that is the way she feels what she would like to see for the deaf community, for deaf children at the Urban Wilson School. She would like to see progress, that's vital. Also, the Urban Wilson School, the hearing teachers should respect the deaf children and the deaf adults. And if the teachers are not quite sure how to communicate and help the deaf, it is important that they ask for help from deaf adults. Ask the deaf adults what has been your experience, how can you help us? Yes. So that there is smoother communication and it would really help them learn more. Yes. Now, thank you so much. I've really enjoyed this interview. It's been good. You are welcome. It's now, a long time to yeah. happen. But finally, it's happening. Yeah. Finally, we got to have this interview, and I'm happy and I'm relieved. <laughs> yeah. And best wishes for the deaf and their family. I hope to meet with some of you before I go back. She says she hopes to meet some of the deaf before she returns. Mm. But she's going to be returning to Jamaica very soon. Hopefully, they can meet her in Jamaica in the future. All right, then, that's it.